Hi, Thomas Bartke here again. Glad you made it to the welcome screen. That means you've logged in with Facebook and that's awesome. Here on the welcome screen, we have a simplified, very easy three-step setup uh, process that will help you to just simply get Trackify X up and running in your store. So let me uh, get you through this here. Let me walk you through this. First here, you're going to add your master pixel. That's the pixel that will be your main pixel that tracks all products in your store. If you have any other pixel set up currently going either through the Shopify integration or, or some other app, it, this pixel will replace that. Okay, so you, you have to take the Shopify pixel out and we'll show you that in, in one of the steps. All right, so let's start with adding your master pixel. Um, there's an ad account drop down. All of your ad accounts, all the ad accounts that you have access to in Facebook with the profile that you're logged in with, um, will show up in this list. You can narrow the list down by simply typing part of the name of an ad account in here, then you can select it there. And then in the second field, you will see in the drop down all pixels that are accessible to this ad account. So if you have a pixel that have that you've created in your business manager and you haven't assigned that yet to any ad accounts, you will not be able to select that here. Okay, so that's an important uh, part, a question that comes up uh, sometimes is my pixel doesn't show up. Well, if it doesn't, if it isn't assigned to an ad account, then you won't find it here. Okay. So if that's the case, simply go back to your business manager, assign the pixel that you've created in your business manager to this ad account. And then uh, when you refresh this page, it will show up. So you select the pixel you want to use here as a master pixel and you click add pixel and that will then confirm. You will turn this field green and have a check mark and everything's happy and it opens up the second step for you. Now this step does not apply to Shopify Plus stores. So if you have a Shopify Plus store, you don't need to do anything with the script here. However, you still have to um, make sure that your Shopify pixel is removed from the settings. And um, that is an important step, otherwise you're gonna get duplicate events. So for all non-plus stores uh, in Shopify, you do this. You simply click on this copy button here that selects the entire script and copies it. And then you click on Shopify Prefs, Shopify Preferences. And that takes you right here. You see it opens up the online store preferences. And right here is the place where you can uh, where you need to put this code. Now, this here is a special case because in this particular case, we do not have a Google Analytics account set up yet. And so if that's the case, you need to first do that. You need to have Google Analytics set up in order for you to be able to put your script in here. It doesn't work just to copy uh, your or paste your script into this field right there. Okay, so I won't walk you through here how to integrate Google Analytics. You can get information on that and do this step uh, by going into Shopify here and, um, and doing this step right here. I'm just going to do it right now. I'm gonna paste the Google Analytics script in here that I got from my Google Analytics account. And once you have that, then it looks like this. And this is probably, hopefully, already what's showing up here for you is that you have your UA code showing up and that means you have already integrated your Google Analytics account. So if it looks like this, you're actually ready to go. You can just click on add custom JavaScript and you paste the script simply like this and click save. And that's all we need to do here. Um, there is a potential complication that might occur here when you get in here. There sometimes will be a red message down here below this field and it will say your this field is currently not enabled for editing please contact shopify customer service customer support to have this field edit enabled and if that is the message then that's what you have to do you have to contact shopify support preferably through their chat and you simply have them enable it right here okay so that's that and that takes us oh one more thing 
right down below here and that applies to plus stores as well as to all the others if you have a facebook pixel id in here let's say like this and this is your facebook pixel id then you need to take it out okay you click on change you highlight it you take it out you click save and you, remo you, you remove the facebook pixel from your shopify preferences here from the settings okay so that's it then you're done you can check i've done this that will confirm the second step and turn the screen as well and now there's only the third step left and the third step is going to create a quick catalog for you in facebook the facebook catalogs are mainly used for running dynamic product ads so if you want to do that that's great you can do this with this uh, product feed and product catalog that trackify creates and you can save a bunch of money for other apps that uh, do the same similar thing um, but this is already working and already built into trackify if you don't run dynamic product ads you don't really have to bother with this step however in your facebook pixels and facebook pixel helper and other test tools you will see a yellow warning sign if you don't have any catalog assigned to this pixel and uh, any catalog with the products that are in this shopify store and this warning will simply say we can't match this this event to a product catalog and that makes sense right because if you don't have a catalog then the product isn't matched to that the warning is really only relevant if you're running dynamic product ads that's retargeting ads or ads that are based on that catalog it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for tracking or optimization features or audience building features or any of that it doesn't matter for any of these features it only affects the dynamic product ads so if you know you don't want to run any any ads on a catalog here then you can just simply skip this step and just know that you'll see that yellow warning when you check your pixel in facebook pixel helper later on um, but it doesn't matter for your tracking and optimization okay let's walk through the steps anyway it's so simple you you'll see once you see the you know minute that's left in this video we're just going to call this thing test um test uh quick catalog let's call it that okay and we're going to set here okay so now here you have another drop down in this drop down you will see all the business manager accounts that are accessible to the Facebook profile that you use to log in and here you can simply also type part of the name or maybe you just have one business manager then it will be really easy to pick this out of the drop down here you add the pixel and then you select a Google product category now this is has nothing to do with building a feed for Google or selling on Google shopping or any any of that this is simply a field that Facebook likes you to have for every product in the catalog that, that we're building. And for this, you can simply select a uh, Google product category from this list here that is the most common and most fitting for all products that you have in your store. It doesn't have to be refined or exact or precise. And I real we realize that if you have a general store you may have products that not all of them fit into one category just simply select a very general category here and go with that in order to select a category you should there are like tons and tons of categories here so you can simply type something let's say you, you're selling print on demand shirts you would uh, type shirt and there you go shirts and tops that would be an awesome category for you let's say let's say you sell mugs and you go right here okay so there are two categories to choose from all right tableware drinkware mugs that's an awesome category if you're selling mugs let's say you're selling uh, jewelry jewelry there's a there are all kinds of uh, refined categories here but here's also just simply the general one so this would be awesome for a jewelry store let's say you're selling um just general apparel and accessories let's see if we can get somewhere here there you go apparent accessories that would be an awesome one if it's just clothing you can choose this one right so there are there are very generic categories among the categories here and it's very easy to just simply select one of those and select a good one that fits most of your products well then you click save and build catalog and it will tell you all set good job and you're done so 
In a perfect world, this welcome screen, you don't really need to come back to this. If all three steps are, are checked here, you're good. And you can now go back and um, run your ads and you're good to go. When you come back into Trackify, the next time you log in, you go to the dashboard and here you will see the overview here. You will see the pixel that is installed. You will see the events that have fired for the store. You will see the um, pixel here and the events for today. And um, in each of these pages, you will find instruction videos that are specific to the page by clicking on this um, Tudor Scholar hat here and you can close that. So use that and also use the in-app chat. If you have any questions, just reach out to you and we'll help you further out. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Thomas Bartke signing off.